everyone. Today I have got a package. Woo! Things are falling out. Um, so I was going to do an unboxing, but um, we had really awful weather today and the boxes came kind of soaked. So one, I was kind of afraid. I was like, oh God, no. <laughs> But everything's okay. So um, we're going to have an unpackaging today. So I've got an order from um, Killer Views and from Goulet Pins. So if you would like to see what is in this haul, keep watching. Okay, hopefully this time, like in the last video, we had that weird like warm to cool going back and forth. I don't know what that was about. So sorry for that, but anywho. So I have never ordered from this shop. And to be honest, it has been a really long time since I've just put in an, a, an order in general to a sticker shop. Um, but this is called Killer Views. And it is a shop in the UK. Let me tell you something about this package. Generally, when I order from overseas, I kind of, I generally don't expect my packages to show up for about a month or more. Usually more because they have to go through customs, all that mess. But anyway, this package got here super fast. Like, I can't remember, when did I order this? I had to, okay, I ordered on February 16th and today is March 1st. So to me, that is like crazy fast for it to get here. So uh, anyway, no more rambling. So got a little card here with a little, um, a little sampler. I really like that washi. I, I actually looked at that washi. I'm kind of sad that I didn't pick that up but anyway killer views I will leave the link down below so um, here I have got two washies so uh, come on glare oh it's upside down okay so this one I cannot remember what it is called but it is just a regular white washi with these beautiful roses and crystals. It's got a little foil, some bottles, really cute little print. And then this one is a black with a floral pattern in burgundy. I thought it was so, so pretty. So I've got those two washies and then Everywhere else, I really like how she does her packaging. This is nice. So we've got the little bag. Um, I know I ordered like a bunch of different little flake stickers. So we've got this pretty little skull with the, or skeleton, sorry. They're glossy. Are they, oh no, they are not glossy. Okay, I love the feel of this. It is like that rosebud, velvety, matte goodness. I love, it. like I've, I, I always say that it's like NARS packaging because I came from the makeup world before I got, well, I've always been a planner, but um, the first time I ever felt this kind of packaging was on NARS packaging, like their blushes and stuff, but it is that nice rosebud velvety feel. Oh, it feels so nice. I've, I've actually got some tarot cards that feel like this, so very pretty. And then here we've got some holographic stickers. This one is of some skeleton hands. Ooh, look at that shimmer. Holding a crystal ball. Really cute. And then this one that looks like it's got a little, it's like a little bottle holding a bird skull. Very, very shimmery. Okay. 
this one I really, I mean, I like it all obviously, but I was like, ooh, must have holographic with the dead, is that a dead's head moth? I don't know. It's got a moth on it and it's like in this half moon shape. I thought that was really nice. Cause I am lately into decking out my caboodle and I'm kind of wanting to put stickers on stuff like big stickers. So I don't think you can ever have enough. I really liked these too. I thought this was really cool. It's like a stormy eye. Got some holographic in there. Nice glossy sticker. And then this one is like a holographic Heart. like an anatomically correct holographic heart how cute and then here got some sticker sheets oh no the TV is like super loud Wow. <laughs> I apologize for the loud noise. Okie dokie. So the volume issue should be fixed now. All right. So we have got this really cool sticker sheet. It's got a little washi strip and just all these different deco stickers. Loving it. Oh, that's nice. And... Another sticker sheet. Like, she, man, she does not play with her packaging. Like, this is, this is nice. Some more, these are gloss, let's see, these are both glossy sticker sheets, by the way. Um, I don't know if they have a matte option. I didn't pay attention to that. Normally, I don't really like glossy stickers, so I'm hoping that maybe one day in the future they might offer some a matte paper option, but, you know, they're deco stickers. I'm not going to be writing on them, so I'm not too worried about that. And this just uh, makes my heart so full. I love these stickers. Now these are matte. Oh, I love that. This one almost looks collage -y. Oh, the possibilities are endless for layouts. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry. I get so excited over things like this. Like I love finding new shots. Like that is, mm, mwah, yes. This one is like a lot of uh, kind of sciencey apothecary, that kind of stuff. And then that one was a matte sticker sheet as well. So I guess she offers both, but just doesn't really give the option to click glossy or matte for some sticker sheets. This one, um, I don't know. It's, it was cool. So I clicked and it appeared in my cart. So next one. See why I picked this one. Mm -mm -mm. So it very much ties into why we are here today for the stickers and the fountain pens. I am so freaking excited. So, um, as y'all know, I think, was it last week? Maybe it was, I, I can't remember. Very, very recently here in the South, we were hit with some unprecedented snow. Um, I live in Arkansas, so uh, we didn't get it as bad as Texas. Um, I guess 
so, so bad for those people down there. And for all the people up north who were like, man, y'all just can't handle it like we can. No, you're right. Like, we've never had weather like that. So, yeah, our cities and everything were not equipped to handle that. So, yeah, um, any of y'all, I, I, you know, if, you, if you're if you making fun of us because we got some snow, we got some hellacious snow. Um, I invite y'all to come down here when we have our 110 degree weather in extreme humidity and see how you fare then. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Just kidding. But yeah, um, oh, it was awful. So these packages, I have been looking forward to the next package from Goulet, um, it's been a week since it was supposed to be delivered and y'all know that meme, like there's so many of them, there's so many memes, so many gifs of people, like once you place your order, you're like looking out the window, like where's my package? I ordered this five seconds ago, where is the mailman? Yeah, that was me. Um, so I was very, very happy that it came here. Uh, ooh, some nice tissue paper to save and use. If y'all are on my Instagram and wonder where I get my tissue paper, this, any sticker shops or any happy mail that I get, I save the tissue paper and use it in my layout. And um, I don't really worry about it looking all rough because I'm going to crumble it up into a ball anyway and use it. So, put that over there in my box to be used. So this is just a really nice little dot grid notepad. I want to say it is an A5 size, and of course I don't have an A5 here to show you. Ah, uh, foot. Um, nope. Anyway, um, really nice dot grid. It's got that beautiful blush and then the florals and then the little skeleton stuff. I've been wanting to get notepads just to kind of jot things down. And actually, these are so pretty, I will probably put them in junk journal or um, grimoire, any kind of journal. And uh, you can just paste it in there as a tip in, something like that. Just something a little different, kind of cool. So, anyway, that is from Killer Views. Uh, great stuff. Great, great stuff. I get so excited when I see um, alternative sticker shops popping up with new things and different things and all that kind of stuff. So, if you have any sticker shops on Etsy or otherwise, I know a lot of sticker shops, small businesses have been moving off of Etsy. Um, for the past quite a while. Um, if you have any recommendations, anything like this, please send them my way because I'm always looking for new stuff. Even if I don't buy, I just kind of like to watch. And if it really tickles my fancy, then I kindly oblige. But anyway, um, so let's get to the other stuff, shall we? Bum, bum, bum. Yes. New pen day. So, um, first thing that I got here, I got some ink samples from Goulet. Uh, I think they are all Sailor inks. So we've got Sailor 452. Sailor Manyo Nekoya Nagi, maybe? Not sure. And then we have got Sailor Manyo Haha. -ha. So these come in little two milliliter samples, which I think is awesome because sometimes you, I mean, you know, as with anything, you can't really tell color from, um, by a computer screen. It's not always accurate. So you kind of want to, you 
know, try it before you buy it type of thing. Yes. My new baby is here. And then I also got a full size of the Sailor Manyo Nadashiko. So I have been watching a YouTuber, um, I believe her name is Devin, Devin Lou or Devin, God, I feel so terrible when I can't remember YouTubers' names. Anyway, I saw a video where she was talking about an ink from a company called Troublemaker, and I think it's called Milky Ocean. And since I saw that ink, I was like, oh my God, I must have it. But of course, um, it's kind of hard to find right now. So I started looking for dupes, and I believe that this one is the closest dupe to it, or it's one of the closer dupes to it. Um, so this one is a 50 milliliter bottle and I already have a Sailor Ink, the, uh, 252. Super, super happy with it. Look at this bottle, y'all. It is so pretty. I have figured out I am a sucker for nice bottles and I will be keeping every stinking one of them and they're going to be going on a shelf or somewhere, uh, because they are too pretty to be hidden. They must be seen. So, um, 50 milliliter of that. And then the piece de resistance. Is that even the right word? I don't know. Anyway, not word phrase. Anyway, so I got a, oh God, I started looking at these like right when, um, I started looking at fountain pens. And I was like, oh my God, that thing is phenomenally gorgeous. But I just could not pull the trigger because one, at the time, I didn't even know that I would like really enjoy fountain pens. But I've gotten a couple. Um, I still have one that I need to kind of do a little review on. It is the Caveco uh, Skyline Sport in Lavender. Limited edition color. Beautiful beautiful pen. Wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but I actually really, really do. So that's a spoiler. But anyway, um, so I wanted to try the Bennu Euphoria. Not going to lie. I have looked at it. <laughs> it is so beautiful, y'all. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. So it comes in this beautiful packaging. And once again, we've got that nice kind of a rosebud feel box. Nice little box. What else is in here? Uh, just kind of little instructions, things like that. You know, are we seriously having the color shift again? Like, really? I don't need this to happen. Not today. Um, it came with a cartridge. Now, this is a cartridge, let me tell you, but I'm probably not going to use it unless I'm in a pinch. Um, cartridges really aren't my jam. And then it comes in this nice little paper sleeve thing. And, okay, it's a love story. And baby, oh, I said yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please don't leave the video. <laughs> but oh my God, y'all, this thing is so pretty. Oh my God. This is the Bennu Euphoria in Love Story. I got this in the medium nib. And it is like, when I saw the video from Goulet, he was like, it's like a blurple. And that is the perfect description of it. It is blurple. Can you see that shimmer? That freaking shimmer, y'all. Oh, my God. And then the little pink crystals up here, they're like little opals. Like, it kind of reminded me of, were they trying to make it look like little flowers? Like, flowers falling, you know, beautiful love story. Flowers falling like Beauty and the Beast with the Enchanted Rose. Anyway, so the top looks like this. It is a resin pen. Um, has a pen clip and then it's kind of soft. It, it kind of tapers down, down here to the bottom. 
Then you've got here in the black, it says menu. And then open it up. It is postable. Is it gonna stay there? Yep. It is postable. So this is the medium nib and it is a Schmidt nib. Lovely little thing there. All the rest of this is black. Um, God, I, I really debated this one over French poetry. If I like this one, I will likely get French poetry just because, oh my God, it was such a lovely pen. Comes with a converter. Thank goodness. We love converters around here. So, comes with that. And... Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to write with this. She is a beaut. Oh my God, she is a beaut. So it's got multiple facets. Looks like it's got 10 facets, which are the little flat parts there. Jesus Christ, y'all, this thing is gorgeous. I wish I had better lights to where you could really see this thing because I guarantee you the video is not going to look as good as it does in person. Like, uh, mm, oh my God. And another cool thing is the per the pink parts here, They the resin has like a UV type um quality to it so it will glow in the dark and um oh god it's just so beautiful like the the differences in color like i feel like it's coming off way more cool toned in the video too but jesus like there's so many variations in color like this is I'm not all about, I mean, I am, I love aesthetic, but God, this is, this is a gorgeous pen. Gorgeous. So anyway, um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to insert a clip in here. I've got to go gather up a few things and insert a clip of me, um, writing with this thing. So be right back. And we're back. And I just noticed, look at the matchy matchy. Oh my God. Oh, it's a perfect match. Anyway, um, so I am going to get this filled. Uh, so I'm gonna fill it with this new Sailor ink. And we will see how she writes. I have some other inks coming from uh, Birmingham. Let's see if I can get that lined up nice. Perfect. So, am I going to be impressed by... Sailor ink again. Let us see. Oh, I've already written a swatch, looks like, on my ink collection. I do, I do plan on doing a video where um, I kind of show you my uh, layout. Are we real, we're really doing this? Are we really doing this again, camera? I gotta figure out some other time to, uh, film because this is just not working. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Why are we going warm? Okay, all right. So, it's gonna take a little bit to start. Let's see, uh, do I have something else I can write on? I'll just take the back of this card because I really don't feel like wrecking things. Come on, come on, sweetheart. There we go. Got a little ink flowage. Okay. Ooh, don't 
get on this. Get on All right. So I'm going to start here. Ooh. All right. So the pen is Benu Euphoria. Crap. Should have started writing the eat first. Oh well, be all right. Love story. And this is a medium nib. And then the ink is Sailor Manio. Not a Chico. Let's see. How are we feeling this ink? Smear dries pretty quick. I really need to get some better lighting here. A nice little shading ink. Not bad, not bad. I'm kind of digging this the way it looks. That's really lovely. Um, yeah, that's a lovely ink. Now let's, let's try some others. Okay, so I had to do the swatches off camera because it took me a minute to get them started. But, um, these are what the inks look like. So this is the Nadashiko that y'all just saw. And then here we've got the, uh, Ha ha, which is a little bit more green, very light writing. I'm gonna have to um, see how these these two inks in particular see how they perform in another pen. Um, probably my Twisbees, um, because I'm kind of well versed in how they perform. Maybe the Caveco, I don't know, we'll see. Um, and then here we've got the 452, which, oh my goodness, that one is gorgeous. I love the 252 already. It is, oh, it is such a nice, like a dusty blush color. This one is a little bit lighter and it looks like it's got a little bit more of a purplish look to it instead of being, um, so brown, but yeah, that one's gorgeous too. That one might need to uh, go in the old collection here. But anyways, so that is the four inks and I'll be having some more ink showings, hopefully here in the next few days. And that is the video. So my initial thoughts on the Bennu are, um, I'm definitely going to work with it some. Initially, I like it. Um, it doesn't seem to be quite as wet of a writer, but it also could be the inks. I'm not really sure. Um, but I do feel like there's a little bit more drag, and I feel like I've got to work a little bit harder to get it started. Um, but I'm going to try different inks and see how they perform in this pen. It is absolutely gorgeous. Really lovely. I'm really, really impressed by the, just the thought that went into this engineering of this pen. So, do you have a bit of euphoria? If uh, you have any tips for a very <sighs> amateur fountain pen lover, <laughs> um, please leave them down below. But other than that, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Hey guys, editing Kelsey here. So I just wanted to let y'all know what happened after I filmed this section. Uh, I cleaned nib really well on the fountain pen and it solved all the problems with the hard start, all that kind of stuff. So this just goes to show if you're a noob, you can continuously be learning things. So if you get a new fountain pen in and you are a newbie, if you are having problems with ink flow or things like that, be sure to soak your pen. There's plenty of great videos online that give you tips on how to clean your pens thoroughly, give it a nice flush, soak it for a little bit, and it should work for you. So lesson learned.